One of the benefits of your machine is the onboard bobbin winder. No need to have a secondary piece of equipment that takes up space in your sewing room. Your machine uses a size M large capacity bobbin so that you can get lots of thread on there. We're going to place it on our bobbin holder. Bring your thread through the top loop directly above your spool of thread. Through the top hole of your thread guide, pull the thread towards the front of the machine into the tension disc looping back around to the back and into the second hole on your thread guide. Wrap it clockwise around your bobbin a few times. Engage your bobbin winder and you're ready to wind your bobbin. Once you've engaged your bobbin winder, you want to turn your machine in manual mode and then press your start button and your bobbin will wind. It will not automatically shut off, so you're going to want to watch your bobbin and when it's full, press your stop. The other way that you can wind your bobbin is while you're stitching. So while you're quilting your quilt, if you have engaged the bobbin winder with a separate spool of thread, as long as you're quilting and your machine is running, it will be winding the bobbin. You can place your bobbin into the bobbin case clockwise or counterclockwise. It doesn't really matter. Just be consistent every time. Slide your thread into the slot. Pull so it goes into your tension and place into the machine.